Yeah. They won't teach you this in college. They won't teach you this in high school. They won't teach you this in junior high school. They won't teach you this in elementary school. They won't teach you this anywhere. Why? It is the number one talent that you need, that you need to have all the money that you want. Why don't they teach you this? I'm about to tell you what that is in a second. I really appreciate you guys. I'm about to do a webinar called Cash Flow Revamp. For my notaries out there all across the United States, we get busy in the notary revamp. I show them how to, you know, just cash flow their business in a way that has not been taught. I stay in my lane. You heard? I stay in my lane. So what is this thing that they don't teach you that helps you make money for the rest of your life? That skill is called sales. They don't teach you sales. Why is that? Do you know the original name for sales is called revenue? Did you know that? I didn't know that. I just found out today. The original name, the original name for sales was revenue. And then it became the word sales afterwards. So for you to say that you do not like sales, it's like saying you do not like revenue. I want you to, I, I want that correlation. Now that I know that, I want that, that cohesiveness with that. Sales means revenue. If you don't like sales, you don't like revenue. You don't like revenue, you don't like money. You realize that? My wife has a double masters. Not once did she ever see a sales class, not once. I've been in college, college dropout though. Not once did I ever take a sales class. At no time, they didn't even have it in the curriculum. They don't teach you the very skill that you need to generate revenue. Sales is more than just sales. You have to persuade people. Have you tried to persuade your kids to eat broccoli, to eat their vegetables? to do their homework, to take a bath late at night knowing that they wanna play Fortnite? Have you ever done this? Have you tried to persuade this person to hire you for a job? That is sales, that's you selling yourself. The greatest people out here that have accumulated masses amount of money from Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs is a salesperson, when he does that, presentation and he's wearing his J crew mock neck and he's wearing his blue jeans and he's selling you on the iPhone or iTunes. He's selling you Bill Gates salesperson, Warren Buffett salesperson, Grant Cardone salesperson, P Diddy, Diddy sales. Jay-Z, of course he was pitching that work, but sales nonetheless. Some of the biggest drug dealers you ever seen, sales. But they don't teach you this. Listen, I ain't gonna apologize for them because I don't know them. And I, I'm sure they have their reason why they wouldn't want you to learn sales because they want to condition you to be an employee for the rest of your life. They need batteries. They need a workforce. And if you learn how to sales, you will not want to work for somebody because you know that, hey, no matter what happens, what, whether I lose my fortune, I gain a fortune, lose my... You ever wonder why a person can lose a fortune and gain it right back? Because not only do they have a system and process to do this, but they know how to sell to the right people. For example, if I lost if I lost everything today and I started at ground zero, I know I can amass it back because I have this talent of sales. I know how to sell. As long as I know how to sell, I know how to get money. 
That makes sense? So even if a, a multimillionaire went broke, he knows how to sell his idea. Remember, there used to be a time that people were buying a rock, like a, like a fucking rock, a rock, a, a rock that you would just grab off the floor. There were people that were selling these rocks and they would call it, sometimes they would call it a mood rock, right? Oh, rub this rock every day and it will remind you of, um, you know, put you in a good mood, a positive mood, right? Heck, if you ever seen the movie, The Secret, the guy talks about this gratitude rock, right? This gratitude rock that he picked up off the ground and then he went out to Africa and one day a, a, a African guy said, hey, what is that in your pocket? He was like, that rock. He was like, oh, it's just a gratitude rock. The guy strongly believed that that rock can cure his child who had some, a bad case of malaria. He said, can you please send me one of those gratitude rocks? The guy sends it to the African in Africa. He rubs on it. He prays to this rock. And all of a sudden, his child didn't have malaria anymore. I don't know. Call it what you want. But the guy sold this other person on the idea that this rock was magical. Walt Disney is like the master of this shit. Walt Disney, if you ever go to Walt Disney World or anything like that, that is... That, that place is an incubator of sales. All they do is sell shit from timeshares to I got them those, those Mickey Mouse ears and shit that you're going to put. You're going to spend $20 for that. They sell you on their movies. They sell you on the trailer. They sell you on everything. They sell you on everything. I just want to, I just want to drop that gem with you guys. You think about it. Why would they not want to teach you something like that that is a necessity in life? It's a necessity in life for you to sell on anything. For you to want to date that girl, you have to sell her on why she should date you. Or the same thing, vice versa, right? Why you're a good candidate, why you're a good pick for them to want to date you and hang out with you and, you know, have a family together. I had to sell my wife. I had to sell myself to my wife that, hey, she ain't fucking with some dusty nigga. I'm that dude. I'm that real deal, right? I had to sell myself. Why don't they tell, why don't they teach you that? Like I said, my wife has a double master's. Never, never came across a sales curriculum in all of the universities that she went to. I've never come across it on any platform. I'll teach you though. If you guys want to learn it, go to notarycashflow.com. I'm here for you. Today is uh, let's sacrifice Toby. We killing Toby today. Toby is that son of a bitch that was hiding all the secrets from us. Today is sacrifice Toby. Toby is going to die. You heard me?